How you doing with them gas prices? 217-629-7970. It's not the only thing that's increasing. You've got inflation hitting all kinds of places. But uh, gas in, in Springfield, uh, some areas it's more than 4 bucks a gallon. Uh, but uh, looks like, uh, at least according to Gas Buddy, uh, you've got uh, a variety of different uh, things going on uh, all across the area, uh, including uh, gas ranging from 385 to more than four bucks a gallon. Uh, so you can see here, Gas Buddy's got uh, 409 in one spot, 419. Where is that? That's over there, uh, way, <laughs> geez, uh, way over there um, by the uh, the hotels and whatnot, uh, just by the uh, the lake uh, off of uh, I-72. Uh, and uh, it's 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 a pretty uh, uh, pretty exorbitant amount of money to expect to pay for uh, for a gallon of gas. Uh, so your dollar's not going nearly as far as you thought it would go. Uh, but gas prices again ranging uh, all over the area. I would love to hear from you how you're being impacted and what you're seeing. Uh, again, if you uh, check out websites like Gas Buddy, uh, you can see kind of uh, an interesting spread uh, from 388 in one area, 395. Uh, all the way up to 419. Whoo! Uh, that's I can't. I, I'm, I'm just kind of flabbergasted. I guess that's a good way to put it. Uh, good morning. You're on WMAY. Yeah, 419 is the one I just passed. Jeez. Yeah, you're telling me. Now but let's not, not impose energy sanctions and produce any of our own. That's okay though. What What are you? How are you being impacted by this? I mean, are you? Uh, is oh, it going to crunch it, your 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 entertainment budget? Is it going to keep you from well, buying that steak or going out to eat? Pretty much, it is. It's critical. I mean, I had to sit down and go through a whole new budget due to the the, the cost of just going to work. I mean, hell, before it's said and done, we're going to end up being a third world country. But uh, you know, at least uh, <laughs> I I don't get it. Really, it, it buttles me. I'm speechless on it, Greg. I, I I think that's a good way to put it. Uh, it's hard to it's hard to put words behind it, and it's not just gas prices. You've got commodities across the board increasing. Fourteen commodities, including crude oil, gasoline, silver, wheat, zinc, risen twenty three percent year to date. In addition, uh, you've got uh, cotton, coffee, corn, nickel, and natural gas raising twenty two percent in 2022 uh so commodities across the board increasing substantially uh and i uh, what that means for for those of you out there who are on fixed incomes those of you who are retired uh those of you who uh were living paycheck to paycheck even last year uh those those of you out there uh, who are struggling absolutely are going to be feeling this and having as that uh, gentleman said uh, having to rework your budgets uh good morning you're on wmay Hey, I just saw diesel 463 at the truck stop on Sangamon. Whoo! Yeah. Oh, oh boy. And it sucks. These, this, these gas prices suck. I wanted to take on another car project, and I decided that I'm not going to do that because wow. it costs too much for doing that, you know, working on these old cars. But, you know, I'm looking so forward to cruising season. You know, I got an old truck, and I like getting out and – I guess everything's going to be around Springfield instead of traveling. I was hoping to do a bunch of traveling this year with my old truck, but I don't know. Just not going to be able to do it. Um, and if you do, uh, you're going to have to cut your your spending on other things where you're finding increased prices as well. So, oh, man, best of luck. Yeah, my Tahoe cost 80 bucks the other day, so I don't know. <laughs> I'm not happy with all these prices. It's pretty wild. Appreciate the calls. 217-629-7970-644 now. Good morning. You're on WMAY. Good morning. I was just driving out uh, Route 4. I'm headed from Springfield to Carlinville. And uh, as I'm going through some of the towns, some of the gas stations are actually three ninety nine. dollars uh, There's one chain in particular that uh, that uh, has great deals on very big sodas that was four nineteen. dollars So that kind of scared me. But uh, this, I'll tell you, my, my, my system shocked this morning. I don't do it every week or every couple weeks, but it's been a couple of weeks, two or three weeks. I stopped by and picked up a breakfast at the largest fast food chain in America. And normally, it, a couple of weeks ago, it was under $7 for what I get, get the exact same thing. 
repeat that. Your phone kind of uh, broke up just a little bit. You said uh, how much was the price difference? I think we lost him. I think he's he's heading so far <laughs> south on Route 4 at, that we lost him. Are you there? Two-week difference. All right. I, okay. I think he's back with us. You're, you said you're traveling south. Yeah, so uh, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe your phone uh, broke up a bit. But hey, try try to call back yeah. when you get a better line. Two one seven six two nine seven nine seventy. I wanted to hear how much his his breakfast differentiated because uh, I mean that's the type of thing. You know, if you're out there traveling and you're working and and you don't make something at home to take with you for breakfast, you're likely going to go to a uh, a fast food place, pick up a you know a, a egg sandwich or something and. Uh, if you do that every day, obviously, you're going to be able to, to notice those uh, increased prices. Uh, good morning. You're on WMAY. Well, good morning, Greg. You know, it's, uh, I've, I've come up with an idea because of this. I'm going to make lemons out of this, lemonade out of these lemons, right. and start a rickshaw business and uh, hire uh, illegal aliens to be the uh, people that pull the rickshaws around town. And uh, that's how I'm going to beat uh, the uh, Putin and Biden's war against those, Ukraine. Uh, and, you're, you're talking about those uh, those little like kind of wheelbarrow things that people pull. Uh, yeah, is that rickshaw. what you're talking about? Come on now, rickshaw. Yeah, basically, I'm going to take, I'm going to go out and have these uh, crackheads that are out stealing okay. uh, bicycles. Right. I'm going to get the wheels off those. It, 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 sounds, it sounds like uh, a Seinfeld episode, actually. I think it was. Um, uh, it was uh, it was Kramer who uh, thought about uh, grabbing some homeless people. Well, from... you know, he was a uh, he was just as smart as uh, as our president and okay. current and All vice right. president All right, right now. Okay, okay. Maybe... Let's let's get some real solutions here, okay? I want to hear real stories about how you're being impacted. It, it's it's really not funny. I mean, this is a serious issue. People are hurting with these increased prices uh when you're looking at gas jumping up that much i mean it's just I, i'm 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 floored to see these prices uh 419 some places uh 389 i mean just the range is kind of mind boggling as well but uh obviously you've got a lot at play when it comes to increased prices 217-629-7970 is the phone number again 217-629-7970 uh, let's see what's uh, going on, of course, with uh, phone calls and messages coming in. Uh, let me check this here with Facebook. I uh, got a, a message here. We'll get to that in a moment, but uh, let's go ahead and take a call. Good morning. You're on WMAY. Yeah, here's a thought. How about we get the tax money back that Trump gave uh, the corporate breaks to? What's that going to do for the price of tea in China? <laughs> Buy more bleach, buddy buy more bleach obviously somebody's not willing to have a conversation but okay uh not sure what the the tax break issue has to deal with um gas prices i think uh, the ukrainian conflict and uh, energy policies in the united states more likely has a lot more to do with that uh 217-629-7970 is the phone number good morning you're on wmay can you hear me now i can hear you yes all right glad you made it back so on. You, you went through a little bit of a dead zone while you're heading south what I was saying was that uh, two weeks ago, it was my, my breakfast at this fast food was like you know six seventy or something. It was under seven bucks. Today I paid eight dollars and twenty three cents. So oh my gosh. let's say a dollar fifty increase over the course of the last couple of weeks. Oh and, my gosh! And and, and, and and when I sat there at the menu and I looked, everything is just it. Everything was so much more. Yeah. <laughs> just. It's just amazing, and, and and I'm in I'm in I'm in the the food business, so so I'm out in grocery stores and stuff, observing price changes and verifying price changes, and and some of the items have just gone up twenty percent. I mean, like a frozen meal is twenty percent more than it, it, that's the price jump it's making in one step. Wow. Is a twenty percent increase. So well, and, so and that example, seems to pa that seems to pan out with uh, commodity yeah. prices across the board. Uh, as as yeah. I mentioned, I mean, some of the index here is that uh, you've got commodity prices jumping up twenty three percent for not just gasoline. You've got silver, wheat, zinc, coffee, cotton, corn, nickel, natural gas, all up more than twenty percent. And uh, that's that's the commodities that we use every day uh, in in our everyday life. The things that make us comfortable. Uh, but uh, you're seeing increased prices, and I don't see any any real plan on how to address this. Be safe on your travels. 217-629-7970 is the phone number. Uh, Al from D-Town says 417 is what they're seeing over in Decatur. 
Uh, 217-629-7970 is the phone number. Good morning. You're on WMAY. Yeah, good morning, Bishop. Yeah, I listened to the whole, his whole speech the other night, and his for everything, his solution was, well, cut the cut the cost. Cut the cost. That's how we do it. We don't cut the wages. We cut the cost. Well, how do you cut the cost of, it, like, daycare? He was talking about yep. that without cutting the wages. Or, well, and, and when I heard that, too, I was like, I, I – I don't know what what he's because he's complaining about uh, daycare workers not making enough, uh, and then uh, also the increased cost of daycare. And he didn't really lay out how to go about fixing that, other than uh, the possibility of more taxpayer subsidies, which would mean more taxpayer spending on top of what we're already spending, which means you're going to have to inflate the currency that inflates commodity prices, and you get this domino effect. So I don't know if uh, we haven't seen a solid plan to, to help lower costs, not just blunt yeah. them, as he said, but to actually lower costs. Yeah, exactly. And and then he got to the point where he says he's going to fix the border. And I thought to myself, oh, my gosh, he's going to keep start building the wall again. But what's his plan on fixing the border? Building the wall is the only option. <laughs> Well, um, uh, and, but this is after what a couple of million people have come across the border illegally in the past year. Right. I mean, that's that's staggering. Yep. Appreciate the calls. 217-629-7970. Some of the other things, though, that uh, you've got at play here is, of course, interest rates and the Federal Reserve's toying with, uh, including uh, rate increases in the future. But they're also looking at what's going on with Ukraine and Russia. Uh, but you've got uh, the St. Louis Federal Reserve supporting boosting rates, saying that uh, they need to uh, uh, do this because the economy is showing tremendous resilience, they said. I don't know if uh, you're going to see tremendous resilience whenever these gas prices continue to go with the uh, the trajectory they're going. Uh, but obviously, those uh, inflation uh, concerns impacting uh, the most vulnerable the worst uh, because they live on fixed incomes. Uh, those who are retired uh, are definitely feeling this pinch. Uh, so hopefully you're able to, um, uh, to yourself blunt the the increased price of uh, of all things uh best of luck